pole. There's definitely gonna be a learning curve with this thing, holy crap. What's going on guys, Lawson here. So right now, we're about to embark on our first journey on the new micro skiff. It has been a hell of a morning. There's a very large learning curve with this thing because I've never really used something like this where it basically weighs like 300 pounds. Probably not, probably weighs more like close to 200 but you're doing it all manually, no trailer, unloading it from the truck out of the bed on that T-bone extender. Whew, took a little bit, but finally about to load all the gear inside of it, hop in the water, or hop on the boat and get started. All right, strap it in the camera gear, rods are set. Little meal for the road. It's been a minute since I've started a uh, pull start engine here. Get that ball pumping. There we go. Oh Lord. <laughs> wow, that took a minute to get going. This engine's probably never been started before, so it took a little bit to uh, get, it, get a kick in. Take the choke off. Oh, baby. <laughs> Definitely an important thing. We're gonna hook our safety clip on, especially for, I mean, you always should have it on, but especially for a first time driving this thing, it'll be uh, probably a good idea to, good idea to have the clip in. Holy God. Oh. Oh my Lord, that took. Oh, I don't know if I was doing something wrong or what, but that took some doing to start that freaking engine. It's been a long time since I drove a tiller. I actually started out fishing in a 14 foot aluminum V hole John boat with a 25 Mercury tiller on it. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'm like really nervous right now. I, it's not easy for you guys to tell, but I'm a big dude. I'm 5'11", I weigh over 200 pounds. Like, this is gonna be a interesting day. We're gonna definitely take our time with it. We're, we're about to embark on a very terrifying moment. We're reaching our first area where we can actually run. We're gonna see how this thing goes. <laughs> oh man. So, with this 10 horsepower, this boat's supposed to be able to go around 18, 19 miles per hour. We're gonna, we're gonna ease into it a little bit here, but let's see how this goes, man. This right here is basically the entire reason why I bought this freaking little weird boat right here. I don't even know what to call it, skiff, a paddleboard, we'll just call it the skiff. This is why I bought this thing, is to be able to go to areas that not many other people 
are fishing. This is gonna be basically like the age of exploration for this channel and trying to find places untouched where no one else is fishing. You know, in this day and age, it's kind of hard to say to yourself, you wanna find somewhere where no one else has ever fished, but we're gonna be looking for places that no one is actively fishing, no one really can get the accessibility to. And we're in a special situation here in this weird, weird skiff that we have the accessibility that a boat would have, but it's in the body of a paddleboard or a canoe. So we can get to places that you need an engine and also get into places that you could only ever get in a paddle craft. So I am very excited. We are sneaking our way down a mangrove tunnel here. And uh, hopefully on the other end, there might be some big redfish or tarpon or snook waiting for us here. Cool, this should work. You know, a lot of this I won't go over in future videos, but I figure it's the first time using it, so I'll kind of show you how I'm configuring things. That way, that way in the future when you're watching a video, it makes sense. So I've moved that grab rack to the back where the cooler was. I've just put the cooler up front a little bit here. We are gonna now rig up and uh, see what we wanna throw. This is pretty, pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. I think we'll start with 2,500, just a little small until we figure out what's even roaming around in here. We're fishing an area I've never fished before. And I just found it on some nav maps and I was like, man, that looks really cool back there. I would like to see if I can weasel my way into that. All right, we're good to go. We're gonna start off throwing artificial shrimp right here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I just got crushed when that landed up in there. Tossed right back in there. Oh, something huge just boiled on me. Ooh, come on, Snook was just right on it. Come on, I don't know if he's there anymore. I was pulling it and I just see about a 25 inch Snook just tail up right behind it. Dang. I just wanna catch one fish on the first outing. That's, <laughs> that's all I want. second it landed that got hammered like it literally touched the water and something ate it what do we got here I don't even know what we're dealing with I literally must have hit that fish on top of the head a jack up in the mangroves how does that even work <laughs> he's grunting like a madman I must have literally hit this fish in the head Honestly, I don't think I'd have it any other way that the first fish caught in this boat <laughs> is a Jack Creval. It's not surprising to me at all. I knew it was either gonna be that or a snook, and uh, it would've been nice if he was a little bigger for the first fish to break in on the boat, but I'll live with it. I really thought that was gonna be like a snook or a redfish eating that close to the mangroves. It must've just really been, he must've just been cruising along this mangrove line and I just dropped it on his head because Jack don't really just sit there and suspend around mangroves they just are always moving I totally could run my outboard in here too, but I'm just gonna creep through here nice and quietly and I'm hoping we might see some fish. Oh, look at that. That was 
sick. They're the sheep's head, just like with this entire back of the water feeding on the barnacles off of these mangrove shoots. Fishing back in these canals here and nothing much had been going on. I'm actually really surprised. It's pretty cool, a raccoon just jumped and crossed in the river in front of us here. Yeah, so now I'm just kind of moving through this mangrove tunnel with the outboard. It's really cool thought, man. I, I highly doubt many people at all have ever ran an outboard engine through here. It's only about five feet wide and the entrance to get in here is narrow. And I mean, I had to paddle through and put my rod tips down and everything like that. Not a lot of space to move around in here. And it's really cool to just be like, I'm moving through here on outboard. You know, the fishing today has been a little slow. I'm not overwhelmingly surprised by that, but um, we're trying to find some fish. We're fishing a new area, moving around backwater, just kind of breaking in the board today. You know, the mission for today wasn't even necessarily to go out and crush some fish. It was get comfortable on the board, get comfortable with the engine. Something just spooked out of the mangroves pretty big. Get comfortable on the engine and uh, see if we can get around and not lose all my gear and fall into the water. And so far, so good. I mean, this is, like I said earlier, this is gonna be a whole new chapter for this channel in terms of exploration and the places that we can go where no one else is going to fish. And that's what's got me really excited to bring you guys along with me on these journeys is that we're gonna be fishing areas that almost are untouched. I mean, like, look at this. All I've been able to hear today is I can hear the beach and waves crashing through the mangroves far, far on the other side. And other than that, it's just been birds, wind, and the waves crashing. And that's a beautiful thing. Also, now that we have a true, true shallow water skiff, I wanna do a lot of stuff in you know the Mosquito Lagoon, the Keys, the Everglades. This is gonna allow us to get into some skinny water areas that I've really been dying to fish in for a long, long time. We've made a move in the skiff. And this might be kind of one of the last areas we hit. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning right now. So really not much of a good bite going on at this time of day, but we're gonna do our diligence here, throw it up in a new spot and maybe we'll uh, get lucky and stick that big in. Oh, big boy oh. come on something big swung at it man oh I think you just hit it right there damn dude damn that was interesting I don't know what it was I was twitching it and I watched the thing swirl and his tail kick out of the water trying to eat it I think that'll do it right there we need to start making our way back home piece of junk am I right? Tell that guy to get a real boat like we're in. All right, back at the house chilling with the pup. You know, it was an awesome time getting to go out on the new skiff. Now, the fishing wasn't as great as I was hoping it would be, but that wasn't really what my expectation was. I was really just like, Okay, don't flip it over. Don't flip this thing over. Don't ruin all your camera gear. Don't ruin your fishing gear. Just stay as dry as possible. And catching just the one small jack, that was a bonus. That could be our breaking fish. But I am really excited to push that thing to the limits and catch some monstrous fish in it because I know that we can. I'm very excited about this skiff. There's definitely going to be a learning curve in terms of launching it. And I had, it took me a while to launch it in the morning and then load it back into my truck. But as I get used to it and as I learn how to use it, it'll just get easier and easier and easier. I think there's so many different things that we can do that are are gonna be awesome once the wind dies down a little bit and it starts warming up and springtime starts rolling through it's gonna be time to start chasing giant snook and giant jack in the rivers and that will be a true test 
of that vehicle. I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video the first time out in the skiff. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe down below. Like I've been saying, we're closing in on 100,000 subscribers and any help with that, I appreciate that very much. It's a big goal I've been trying to reach and I can't wait till we get there. It's going to happen soon. Oh, so very soon. That is it for me, you guys. Until the next video, peace.